From the Target 12 investigators tonight, we've learned the man accused of stealing four gold chalices from a Johnston church has had several brushes with the law, including stealing from a nun. We tracked down the details of that 1996 crime as the suspect was expected to turn himself in today for the recent theft from St. Rocco's Church. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with the details. Court records indicate on a summer morning in 1996, David Ferrara committed two break-ins, including one involving an 86-year-old nun. Johnston police say this is David Ferrara leaving St. Rocco's Church in Johnston with a bag stuffed with four gold chalices worth about $10,000. St. Rocco's father, uh, Angelo Carusi, told us the chalices were locked in a cabinet, but he said Ferrara found the key in a nearby drawer. It's unfortunate if people are looking for money, people are looking for help, they should come and ask us because we do that. We went to the Judicial Records Center in Pawtucket to find documents tied to a pair of 1996 crimes committed by Ferrara within hours of each other in two different cities. Ferrara was 40 years old at the time when, according to this Cranston police report, he broke into a house and stole numerous pieces of jewelry. Earlier that morning at Huntington Towers on Benedict Street in Providence, Ferrara had broken into the apartment of an 86-year-old nun who was asleep until she saw Ferrara. Providence police said Ferrara, who also lived in Huntington Towers, Hours at the time put his hand over the sister's mouth, but she got away and was later treated for minor injuries. Ferrara was arrested later that day with several pieces of jewelry, including the nun's watch and the items stolen from the Cranston home. Records show Ferrara pleaded no contest to burglary, intimidating a witness, and larceny in connection with the Huntington Towers break in. He also pleaded no contest to a larceny charge tied to the Cranston case. That 1996 burglary involving the nun came up as recently as 2016 when records indicate another crime violated the conditions of Ferreira's probation from that 1996 crime. According to the Department of Corrections, he was released from the ACI just last month. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.